What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be running through the best settings for the finals season two for the best visibility, competitive edge, and FPS. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. When you fire up the game for the first time in a while, it may be recompiling shaders. And if you have never cleared your shader cache, you'll find a link in the description down below showing you how to do that. It may help with random stutters and things like that, especially with the new season. All right, let's begin. On the main menu, click options in the top right, settings, and we'll start on the video tab. I'll quickly run through these as my previous video had a ton of explanation about what each of these does and it was over 10 minutes. So I'll just quickly run through the best options here with minimal explanation. From the very top, windowed mode should definitely be set to full screen for the best input latency. Then resolution should match your display, set it to 2K, 4K or 1080p. As long as it's a support resolution, it shouldn't be blurry. If you're a stretched resolution player, I'd recommend choosing 1728 by 1080 or the closest you can get to that, 1600 by 1080 for a bit more stretch or even 40 1440 by 1080 for a huge amount of stretch. If you don't have any of these options available, then you'll need to set up a custom resolution in your graphics cards settings. For me though, I'll be sticking to 16 by 9 at a native resolution. VSync off for the best input latency, Nvidia Reflex low latency on if you have an Nvidia GPU. Changing this to on plus boost could cause some performance issues. However, it is designed on plus boost for much lower powered CPUs. Play around with this option between on and on plus boost. Frame rate limit unlimited unless you're overheating, in which case cap this to ever so slightly below the FPS you're getting and it may even improve stuttering. Resolution scaling, I'd recommend having set to TAAU, the closest we can get to off as we can only choose one of the options here. If you absolutely need upscaling, choose DLSS or FSR2 on the quality setting for the least interference with your competitive gameplay. I'll be sticking to TAAU. Field of view, your preference, motion blur and lens distortion, I'd recommend both disabling, not only for motion sickness, but also for better visibility, leading to a more competitive edge. Ray tracing, obviously as low as you can go, so static is probably good here. And then quality. In my previous video, I showed you these settings over here for a higher powered graphics card. I'd still pretty much recommend them, especially if you have extra VRAM, as the game will still look really, really neat. And of course, your FPS will be more than reasonable. However, if you need a real competitive edge, I'd recommend dropping pretty much everything down to as low as possible, except Except for texture, which completely depends on the amount of VRAM your graphics card has, I'd recommend either medium or high. These will give you the best FPS possible and of course the biggest competitive edge. However, for me, this is just a little bit too low. So I'd probably raise global illumination, few distance, and that's probably about it. Post-processing and effects both lead to frame drops, especially when there's tons going on, especially in this new season. Then foliage, shadows, and anti-aliasing don't really have a place if you're looking for a competitive edge. If you're really bothered by aliasing on models and buildings and stuff like that, which is the jagged lines, you can consider raising your anti-aliasing. But for me, these are the competitive settings I'll leave them on. You may want to drop view distance and global illumination. On the audio tab, I'd recommend dropping your music completely for the least distraction in the game. If you enjoy having music, have it on 5 to 10%. That way footsteps are super audible. Dialogue volume as well, not too important. 50 or 60% is perfect here. SFX is super important for a competitive edge and master volume is your preference. Otherwise you can crank it to 100 and just control it in Windows. Voice chat, I'd recommend leaving on as people can make calls, etc. But I would recommend double checking that your mode is set to push to talk so you know exactly when you're speaking or not. Output, night mode I'd recommend leaving off, which should make footsteps and that more audible. However, you can enable it for a more compressed dynamic range, meaning quieter sounds are louder and louder sounds are quieter. And of course, subtitles I'd only recommend leaving on if you need them, otherwise they could be considered a distraction. On the accessibility tab, it's entirely your preference how your crosshair looks. At the very top, you can change the colorblind mode for a slightly different color palette based on your preference. Then heading out of the game, head across to the finals, right click, manage and browse local files. In here, right click discovery.exe properties and on the compatibility tab, disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings and in here, make sure this is ticked as well as application chosen. OK, apply and OK. Then to enable raw mouse input for the best input latency and most accurate mouse movements, hold start, which is the Windows key and press R to bring up this little box. Alternatively, you could type this into 
the start menu, percentage, local, app, data, percentage, and hit enter. This will open up see users, your username, app data, local. In here, we'll be looking for discovery. I simply click, press D, and it jumps us straight down to where we want to be. In here, followed by saved, config, Windows client. If you have an engine.ini file, open it up. Otherwise, right click, new text document, and we'll be renaming it engine.ini removing.txt. You should get this pop up and confirm it. If you don't, click view followed by show and make sure that file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. On Windows 10, you'll have a view tab at the very top and the same option on the far right. Inside of engine.ini, opening it with any text editor, you'll need to paste in these lines from the description down below, which forces raw mass input and disables mass smoothing. Sweet. Save, close, and that's it. Hopefully, now you have the competitive edge. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. Yeah.